welcome into his brain Welcome into his frequency Enter at your own risk Come be at peace with me Ask the call Where we rise and don't fall Welcome back to another episode of Baxter's Buzz. I am your host, Baxter E. Hall. Welcome to my brain. Welcome to my frequency. Enter at your own risk. Shout out to all of the folks who are supporting. Um, we are three years in this, which is kind of crazy. Um, I also want to just say prayers to everyone as we uh, uh, do our best to close out 2023 on a strong note. I know it could be a difficult time for a lot of folks. And so just know I'm praying for you all. Um, I want to talk about a really cool event that um, Zara and I went to. So I took my daughter to a fundraising event. It was kind of like snazzy and it, it was really cool. And it was like the first type of, uh, that type of event that Zara had been to. And so, you know, there's a lot of um, service staff that are, or wait staff that are helping, you know, keep, areas clean, they're pulling plates off the tables, et cetera, et cetera. And they're moving so quickly and they're they're so accommodating that there's a tendency sometimes to just sort of let them do their thing and kind of like almost not acknowledge them. And that's, I do not subscribe to that. And I was telling Zara that same thing. You know, these folks are working really hard. You make sure that you say thank you, please and thank you. You know, even you even go out of your way for these uh, folks because um, they're doing the one of the biggest important job that we all can do, and that's just being of service. And nobody is above serving others, um, and nobody should really look down on anybody in any anyone's role. But it got me to thinking about leaders <clears throat> and leaders in name and title versus true leaders, right? And sometimes people want the salary that comes with having uh, folks report to them. They want the prestige that comes with that. They are more, uh, their priority is having people report to them versus actually leading people, right? And so I believe that a lot of it needs to come with a, a servant leadership type of uh, approach and perspective. So it doesn't matter whether, whether you are, you know, the CEO, the CFO, or whether you are mid-level uh, manager, first-time manager, frontline manager, um, we need to be doing our best to take care of our folks, the folks that we are most in contact with, the folks that report to us. Um, they, they have a, a number of things to offer us, but also we need to make sure that we are putting um, them first and making sure that they are given the tools that they need to succeed. Um, sometimes it, it, we, uh, as leaders, may look at people as like this, like you're this dictator, and you tell them this, you tell them that. But very much like parenting, um, we need to all be on the same page. Obviously, the book that has to stop somewhere. And there are times where you just need to say what you need to say. And any split decisions goes to uh, the, the the person in charge. But ultimately, you want to get buy-in when you can. You want to be coming from a place of uh, servitude. And you want to make sure that your direction is clear to those that you are leading. Because I said so works um, on occasion with your children, but it should never, um, that should never be the case inside of a, an organization. There should be some sort of buy-in, some sort of understanding. Yes, ultimately folks aren't gonna always agree with everything that you say, but you need to do your best to make sure that you are, you have a team in mind and you're not just being self-serving, but that you're actually serving the team that you are leading and supporting. So. Hope that message finds you well. Until next time, peace. Welcome into his brain. Welcome into his frequency. Into at your own risk. Come be at peace with me. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. 
share, and also hit that notification button as well. Thank you so much. Financial literacy to authentic black history. This real rap.